Okay, so the details, um, 1990, Michael Jackson, the year in review. We're going to see what happened for Michael Jackson in 1990. So, yo, without further ado, guys, we're just going to hop straight into this video. So, let's get it. It was the first time Michael had sat for a portrait. The Japanese tycoon Hiro Saiki wanted to buy it, and they said, give us two million bucks. We're surprised. He came back and he says, well, yeah, I, I, of course I want it. So we sold it. We said, okay, it's yours. The painting was the result of a partnership between Jackson and Strong. Brett says Michael admired his sculptures, which include this statue of John Lennon. And now he has a new, somewhat mm -hmm. racier portrait of Michael. Strong says Jackson posed for it at his Neverland ranch. <laughs> That's how y'all be sounding in my comments. Michael, Michael, react to Michael, Michael, Michael. Can you react to Michael, Michael, Michael? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to express my gratitude to those responsible for the American Cinema Awards. I thank David Guest, you're just fantastic. Thank you so much. Oh, he looks so good right here. One man who was for Grammy this year was Michael Jackson, but he did put in an appearance anyway on Tuesday morning when his record company threw a breakfast press conference for him to announce that he has now sold more than 110 million records. The largest selling album in the history of recorded music. The two largest selling albums of the 1980s. The only album ever to produce five number one singles. I'm sure it won't surprise you that I'm going to make this one short again, but I'll have to say, however, that no album sells itself. It is up to the people out there to buy it. But I especially want to thank everyone, everywhere, who helped make this award what it is. First a possibility, and now a reality. I love this braided jacket. He has a tremendous following. He does good work, what we call the points of life concept. And I just wanted to uh, bring him out here and officially welcome him, welcome him to the White House once again. Glad you're here, sir. I like how this video is edited. At the historic meeting of showbiz and big biz, music's magic man and the Midas <laughs> mogul ran the media gauntlet to open the world's glitziest casino. That fan hysteria reminded me of 1963 when I covered the Beatles' arrival in America. Trump gave Michael Jackson a personal tour of his 1.2 billion dollar extravaganza and we were there every step of the way. If the Taj Mahal Casino is the eighth wonder of the world, on that day it seemed the beloved club one ranked ninth. 75,000 fans nearly swept away supermodel Elle McPherson, but they didn't stop the casino take topping two million dollars for the day. Michael at the Taj Mahal He's my friend, he's a tremendous talent, and uh, it's really my honor. It's, uh, it's a big day for me. Ryan White's life ended Sunday morning after a five and a half year battle with AIDS. Jackson heard about Ryan the same way everyone else did through TV and newspapers. Michael wanted to get there in time to see Ryan, but we did not think he would live past midnight, so Therefore, we didn't think, think Michael could get there in time. But it ended up, Ryan lived till 7 in the morning, and Michael could have made it. And Michael really felt bad because 
he did not attempt and try to get there. This week, with the death of a teenager whose plight with AIDS touched many rock stars and the rest of America, Brian White died this week, five years after contracting AIDS from a transfusion. And friends like Elton John and Michael Jackson helped support Ryan in his own campaign to promote public awareness of the disease. AIDS victim Ryan White was remembered during funeral services this afternoon at Second Presbyterian Church on North Meridian Street. The mourners gather, including a host of celebrities like Elton John, Bill Donahue, Michael Jackson, and First Lady Barbara Bush. It was Ryan who first humanitized the disease called AIDS. He allowed us to see the boy who just wanted more than anything else to be like other children. He healed a wounded spirit in a world and made it whole. It happened, to the best of my knowledge, it happened last evening when he was rehearsing at his home and he get, uh, maybe passed, had some kind of little pass out and when he woke up he called, uh, called his physician and he took him to the hospital. The rock star was admitted last night after complaining of chest pains. The hospital kept a tight lid on Jackson's exact ailment saying that he was in stable condition after a night of tests. Those tests include cardiac analysis, but the hospital ruled out a heart attack. There's no word on when Jackson will be released from the hospital. His physician, Dr. Stephen Hoplin, states that he will be undergoing several diagnostic tests today. He was admitted to St. John's to our emergency department last night at approximately 9 p.m., complaining of chest discomfort. Fans gathered outside St. John's Hospital in Santa Monica, California, have been loyal, but have learned little about his condition. Not a lot, just he's undergoing tests and they don't know what's wrong, so it's really worrisome to not know anything. We just don't know what to think. One fan was arrested after going too far. A 42-year-old who uses the name Billie Jean Jackson was arrested for violating a restraining order mandating that she stay 500 feet away from the pop star. The 31-year-old singer-songwriter has been hard at work on his new album called Decade, and according to spokesman Bob Jones, Jackson was particularly distraught over the recent deaths of both his maternal grandmother and entertainer Sammy Davis Jr. The pressure from the oh, album, really? pressure on him, pending engagements, etc., etc., etc. So there are a lot of pressures on him. Of Michael Jackson hits called Decade may be put on hold. Sources inside the Jackson camp say the pop star has recorded so much new material that a studio album of new songs may be released instead. A spokesman for Jackson's record label will only say that something with Jackson's name on it will be released before the end of the year. Billie Jean, or whoever the hell she is, needs to stay home and take care of what she got going. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker video game, only on the Genesis system by Sega. Now he has teamed up with a leading video game company to devise the ultimate video game experience. And its star is Michael Jackson himself. Michael Jackson moves from music videos to both home and arcade videos with the introduction of the Sega video game Moonwalker. Jackson worked closely with Sega's Al Nilsson and was instrumental in the game's development. The Soldier Boy got a game. The Soldier Boy got his own game since he's talking about he the first to have everything. Do you got your own game, bruh? Michael Jackson got his own game. I'm just saying, where yours at? I mean, you got them fake ass, bootleg ass game systems from Alibaba. But Michael Jackson had a game. 
I'm just saying. I'm like being messy. Go back and play the game <laughs> and then call us up or uh, talk to us and say, here are things that should be included. Here's things that should be changed. Wow. The shelves are loaded with these babies, but back-to-school shopping parents are shying away from purchase because, according to one shoe industry czar, they make kids wearing them look like junior hell's angels. What? It's a shoe. <sighs> Baby, what? You want to talk about that? Have you heard about the Satan shoe? Oh, wait, this was 1990, my bad. <laughs> I do. The primetime cartoon terror is now on the rise, however, with none other than Michael Jackson giving him a boost. Jackson has written a song titled, Do the Bart, Man, and he wants to record it as a duet with Bart. Simpsons creators have given the okay, and it should be in record stores by Christmas. But if it's a week or so late, don't have a cow. Everybody, if you can, do the Bart, Man. Oh. Shake your body, turn it up. Shake it out, man. Do the sign that you can't get. Everybody, if you can, do the Bart, Man. What? This was a really good, um, this was a really good, uh, video, the detail. I really enjoyed it. Um, I like the editing. I like the background music. I just like how this, uh, whole thing was pieced together and it showed like, you know, it showed like the, um, the highlights and it showed some of the dark moments or whatever for him in, in 1990 but i really enjoy watching this video if you guys enjoy watching my reaction please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe i will see you in my next reaction video Bye.